When it got hard, what did you hold on to? My faith in God. I still believe, you know, through it all, I would pray to God, you know, because I knew I felt like I was just in love with a man who was going through a difficult time. Mm. I kept thinking, you know, he's just going through a difficult time. You know, it's hard for him watching me grow yes. in my in my in, you know, in the radio industry and him staying the same him. Uh, not, You know, there's no growth. Yeah. So watching me grow had to be hard for him to see. So. Me trying to, um, for lack of a better word, dumb down and try not mm. to celebrate my successes because it made it hard for him. I just felt like I was in love with a man who was going through a difficult time. And we're going to get through this difficult time and then we're going to have wonderful times. And those times uh, just never came. How about that? Yeah. Well, I want you to stick around. Uh, there's more to share. I know. And so don't go away. When we come back, Pastor Michael Neely shares his story. Joined by phone, Reverend Michael Neely, pastor of, the, you know what, Michael? I forgot to put the name of your church in here. What's the name of your church, Pastor? Uh, New Millennium Community Church. In what town? Uh, Tampa, Florida. In Tampa, Florida. Yes, a big old blank on my paper here. I forgot <laughs> to put it in there. And he is, <laughs> and he is also the author of the best-selling book "Black Eyes and Sweet Talk: A Biblical Perspective on Domestic Violence." Thank you, Michael, for joining us. You know, the National Institute of Health reports that sexual victimization of women was ignored for centuries. True. However, the NIH has aimed to build on this important information by drawing attention to male sexual victimization, which is an overlooked area of study. Pastor Michael, do you feel as if domestic violence amongst the male population has been overlooked? Well, I, I would say yes, that it has been overlooked um, because it's, it's such a different uh, dynamic uh, mm -hmm. for a man. Mm -hmm. uh, to 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 be, um, especially to be physically abused. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we we've known that sometimes men can also be psychologically and emotionally uh, and verbally abused, but it's a different dynamic when we think about a man, especially if you are a a tall, strapping man. Yes, which he is. That you know that can clearly handle himself. Uh, and to, to think that he's being abused, it's, it's almost like an impossibility uh, for some uh, to believe. But uh, it did happen to me. Tell us your story, Pastor. Well, you know, it's interesting because for years, I did not even realize that I was being abused. Mm, how so? Uh, well, because it was... My situation was 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 rather different. Um, I became a, a I got married. I met my first wife in 1984. I became a Christian uh, six months later in March of '85, and that's when everything kind of hit the fan, so to speak. Mm. Um, I got married uh, without any premarital counseling at all, and. Uh, Monday morning quarterbacking, I now realize that my, my first wife grew up in a home where her mother was physically and verbally abusive to her father. Okay. So she grew up in a home where it was a, a learned behavior. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I didn't realize that until later in our years. And so when we started having a conflict, uh, her resort was to uh, be violent, mm -hmm. uh, and being a a a Christian man uh, and and in a conservative church, uh, I was taught that well the devil is trying to destroy your home, mm -hmm. and so you need to do everything to maintain your marriage. Mm -hmm. Abuse uh, and violence, physical uh, attacks are not grounds for divorce, and so I just accepted that as true. Mm -hmm. and went through years of, of marriage thinking that I did not have a biblical way out. Mm. And I wanted to be true. I wanted to be true to my to my faith and, and, and what I believed. And so my main reason for staying, and we stayed married for 15 years. Wow. 
Yeah, my main reason for staying was be, because of my biblical convictions. Okay. Um, that I that I did not think I had a biblical way out, uh, even though I struggled with why God wanted me to stay mm-hmm. uh, in, in a marriage that was was so abusive.